I love this, and I don't know if you know what this is, what these are, but they are delicata squash, D-E-L-I-C-A-T-A -A, squash. The rind is edible, all right? So it looks very intimidating, but it's very simple and easy to make. This is like... Uh, nature's candy that's all i can say it's nature's candy whether you serve it as a side or you serve it just by itself i'm going to eat this for lunch all right so it's delicata squash if you see it definitely uh, purchase it you can stuff it you can uh, do a lot of different things with it but you don't have to peel the skin it is uh, softer skin and it is edible all right i'm going to show us how we can cut this thing and then we're going to put it in the air fryer for about 18 minutes or so we're going to switch the trays halfway through and it gets a nice caramelization um, browning on it and you eat it the way it is just add a little bit of salt on it or even a little bit of cinnamon and it is yummy in your tummy now the way you're going to cut this you're going to get a very very sharp knife the way you know that your knife is sharp you get it um, you get the knife and you just touch the blade itself if you feel that it's you can feel the difference between a sharp blade and a non-sharp blade so make sure you get a good knife whether it's this one or if you want to do a smaller knife Knife, which is a santuca knife you can do it also with the santuco knife all right so um, either one you're gonna hold your uh, delicata squash with one hand and you're gonna cut down uh, on one quarter of your delicata squash you're just gonna go push it right in all right push it right in just like that see it goes in and then with your heel of your hand you're actually going to push this down all right just push it right down and you're only gonna go one quarter of the way just one quarter of the way. You're going to turn it around and push it back in. Okay. And you're going to push it again all the way down one quarter of the way. All right. That's my little off centered here. And then you're going to flip it on the other side and you're going to figure out where the half is. There you go. And do the same thing. You're going to push it in and go right down. Now I'm doing this with a shorter knife. I think it's a little more easier for me, but you can do it with the chef's knife or the Santuca knife. All right, don't use a small knife because it won't go all the way through. All right, I'm just gonna push it right down and it pops right in half. Now the inside is gonna look just like pumpkin, all right? And you're gonna get a bowl because we can we can save these and actually roast these uh, pumpkin seeds in here. The the delicata squeeze are just like pumpkin seeds. You see how that is? Good morning, Onion Matthew. How are you doing? So we're gonna get our scoop loop, our spoon, all right. And you're gonna just scoop out the guts of this delicata squash. You're just gonna go right through it, pull it right through. There you go, and get all those seeds out. Okay, let them out. There you go. You may have to do it a few times, all right? But get them all out. It's just like cleaning out a pumpkin, all right? And this thing has the serrated edges that's going to get in and get those, like the uh, the slimy part of the inside of the squash out, all right? You can also use the uh, scoop loop for cookie cutters. You can make snowmen with it or flip it around during the summer and use it for flip flops, all right? Uh, let's turn this around. You're going to see it. Here you go. Get it all out. All right, and you want to clean all that like slimy stuff out of it. You see how it's like slimy? Just get that out. And again, it's really it works better when it's a serrated edge on on the scoop loop rather than the spoon itself. Okay, but you can do it with the spoon. All right, because this just makes it a lot easier. There we go, and it's nicely cleaned out. All right, get that out, and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side here. All right, just get right in. And clean it right out. Okay. Now this part does take a little time, which you know, nothing's nothing that you like is very easy. It does take a little bit of time, but once you know how to cut uh, cut this delicata squash, it is super yummy, and you're gonna be like, I need to get more of that. Okay. So if you see one, buy two because you're gonna really really like it. All right. There you go. It's cl nicely cleaned out. You can go through here and pick out the seeds and roast them. I'm gonna put them off to the side. And this is my scoop loop that I'm using. It can, it's sold separately or as a set. You can see it has some nice little serrated edges. You can clean out um, peppers, tomatoes, zucchinis, cucumbers with this. And again, you can make a snowman out of this. You can make a ghost out of it or turn it around and make flip flops. Okay, so it also comes as a set. This is a little carving thing that uh, it's like a no cut, but it actually cuts things. Like if, you have, if you're trying to teach your children how to uh, cut steak or meat, you can actually use this or even veggies. It is safe for kids to use. All right.
we've got that. Now that we got this ready to go, we're going to turn it over and we're going to slice these into nice little rings. I didn't really cut it in, in exactly the best um, uh, in half. All right. And you're going to do it about an inch, maybe even an inch and a half. And you're going to try and do it about the same thickness so that they cook evenly. All right. If you don't, if you cut some that are too thin and some that are too thick, then it's going to, it's going to not cook evenly on it. Make sure your fingers are straight down. And I am using my um, chef's knife on this. And you notice how I'm holding the knife. This is the correct way to hold a knife. Not back here. You don't really have control of your knife, but up here. All right. And we're just going to go straight down and cut these babies. There. And this one I'm going to do right in half. Get the bottom of the heel and we got all those and now we're going to do another one okay there. there okay that was a little bit thin a little bit thicker yep. and again you can use this hole and just stuff it and bake it the way it is and then stuff it with whatever uh, meats or veggies you want all right but i like it i'm doing this as like lunch today i'm having delicata squash just the way it is we're gonna rub a little bit of olive oil on here and um put it on our tray i'm gonna put some on my tray right here all right we're gonna put them all on the tray and then spray it with olive oil on both sides and if it has a little bit of of these um see just scrape it right now the insides all right May have not gotten it all out. All right, we got all that. We're gonna get some olive oil and spray olive oil all over it. I'm using my kitchen spritzer because it sprays really nice and even. I find the new one doesn't spray as much as the older one. You have to spray it just a little bit longer, okay? It probably sprays like a half of a teaspoon, maybe even less. Okay, just spray it all in. I definitely want to do both sides. So flip them around and definitely spray them. All right. And again, we're going to put this in the air fryer for about 15, 18 minutes. We're going to switch them halfway through. Let me do it one more time. And I'm going to separate these onto two trays so that there's air flowing between each one. Okay. It's nice and thick. There. All right, so we got our delicata squash. Just mix it up a little bit. I got the second tray right here. Let me see, I got stuff all over this one. Uh, all right, got it off. All right, all right. So we're gonna put our delicata squash on here. You gotta make sure that there's enough room on it. All right, and I'm gonna get this cooking, and then we're gonna do some other stuff. All right, this is so good. I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, why didn't I know about this before? I have no idea. All right. I made this, I first time I ate this was last year and then I keep on looking for it and it wasn't available until I went to my local uh, farmer's market and they had it there. All right. So we have this, we're going to put it in the air fryer at like 400 degrees for 18 minutes. Okay. Let me go do that and I'll be right back and y'all, hopefully you like this. There's eight new messages. Hello there, Pastor Cindy. Uh, Cheryl says she likes all kind of squash um, passing through. Need to go to work, Etsy, but come back to watch your replay. Thank you, Pastor Cindy. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the uh, award also, Pastor Cindy. If you need one, buy two. <laughs> yeah, buy two. I actually, I bought four. This is my second one. Hello, Aiden. How are you doing? What are we cooking? We're cooking up a storm this morning because I'm starving. Have a great day. Thank you. Hello, Monica. All right. I'm trying acorn squash. I didn't like acorn squash as much as I love this. All right. I'm going to put it in the air fryer. I'll be right back. All right, technical difficulties over there, but we got it all straightened out. Now that we're cleaning this all up, thank you for holding with me while we put that in the oven. 
or in the air fryer because you know the air fryer is the best thing all right if you don't have an air fryer i suggest you get one because it helps you cook a lot healthier than deep frying all right so hello let me switch this around i'll have to try that next says monica yes definitely definitely i highly recommend it hello hello everybody it's alexis your pamper chef consultant and we're having second cup of coffee here because you know what i'm making up just miscellaneous stuff and i need a second cup of coffee right hello crystal lee how are you doing on facebook all right so i've been doing this apple walnut um oatmeal muffins and they are the best however i need to take a break and you know those blueberries that we picked during the summer? I'm going to be making some blueberry lemon oatmeal muffins. Because you know what? I've been finding that um, I absolutely love these and they make me feel full. All right. I'm not sure about you. If you need to lose weight, we only have like 10 weeks left to the new year. And whether you're going to be at your current weight or you want to gain weight or if you want to lose weight, that's up to you. It is up, not up to somebody else. It's not up to your work. It's not up to your spouse. It's not up to your significant other. It's not up to your mother. It's not up to your kids. You need to take control of your weight, okay, because, you know... Things happen, things, good things happen when you're at the right rate, right, uh, at the right, 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 correct weight in your life. All right. And I finally got there. I finally got down to my ideal weight, which is a hundred and, hey, thank you so much for the super clap award. Um, I got down to my 142 pounds and now I'm trying to maintain that or even go to 140, between 140 and 142 now. Okay, 140, 142 is an, is an ideal weight. I'm about a size eight, if you want to see. Um, I, I got my, these are size 10 pants, but they, they fit great. I mean, there's no pinching, bulging or anything like that. And I'm actually wearing a t-shirt. It it's a Pamper Chef's large t-shirt, but these things are on small. But the thing that I found out about myself and about the clothes, like a lot of my clothes are either big and I try and sh uh, you know, squish them up like this, uh, is you can just, I can still deal with my tens, all right, and my size of my large shirts. I just make them fit um, a little bit uh, tighter by by doing little tricks um, that you can make your clothes, your old, bigger clothes fit halfway decent. Now, not two sizes up. You can only do it down up to one size up. But I do find that, um, I do find uh, I hate when you have back fat and or rolls uh, on a t-shirt. And what I mean by that is like, when your shirt is too tight like this and you see all the rolls, it just makes you look overweight. However, when you have a correct shirt on and it's nicely fitting on you, it looks good and makes you feel good and you don't feel bad about yourself with those rolls going all over. Yeah, I still have rolls, okay? I still have like, okay, here, the little muffin top. Not a very big muffin top, but I still have a little one and I deal with that, right? Hey, <laughs> sure. Nice shirt. I'll have to, okay. So anyway, uh, I'm just trying to come in and uh, I am a Pamper Chef consultant. All the tools that you see here are available for sale, okay? You can purchase them full price or you can get with me and you purchase them at a discount. How do you get a discount? One, you can host a party and we have different party platforms that you can host a party on, all right? And get it for a discount, not only on that party, but for an entire year, Pamper Chef gives you 10% off when you host a party. Or you could become a Pamper Chef consultant. A lot of people are having success with Pamper Chef. I mean, I see people earning the trips. I still have like, I think $13,000 left to go before I even get the first trip to Texas. I was wanting to get to, to the uh, the, ni the ni 90,000 uh, points, but I'm not even at 60,000 points for the first trip. Hello, Wayne. How are you doing? So if you are local to me, I would drive about two hours to do a home show for you if you want if you want to have a home show in your house or we do a virtual party. All right. I am here on the social media app called HAPS, H-A-P-P-S, where I share up to YouTube. And if you don't mind, if you can please follow me on YouTube, I have 97 people that follow me on, on YouTube right now. And then you can watch me on the big screen. You can actually put me right up on your TV screen like Terry does and a few other people there. Uh, so please follow follow me on YouTube. And if you can just let the, let the video run. I need about a thousand hours of people watching <laughs> thousand hours and a thousand people to follow me. I think that's what it is over, over there to do, to get the, the, your, um, YouTube channel up and running. But I went back in while I was visiting Bryce over the weekend and I found, I was like, man, I have a lot of stuff on YouTube there. So, uh, 
follow me over to YouTube. You can also follow me if you want any of the recipes. They are over on my VIP page on Facebook. Only on the VIP page will, will the recipes be. All right. So today we're going to be doing blueberry oatmeal muffin. I got most of the stuff ready. Uh, let me get my knives out of the way because I'll use two different knives here. This one's a coated knife by Pampered Chef. If you're looking for a very good, reasonably priced knife, this is the Pampered Chef coated knife. All right. It's probably my go-to because I like the weight and the, the lightness of this one. And this is the official Pampered Chef um, stainless steel one. This one's made in Germany, all right? And it is metal all the way through here, all the way through. And it has the, the nice wood wooding um, uh, comfort here. And it does have the PC name on it where you put your finger right here if you're right-handed. Or if you're left-handed, you can put your finger right on that little dot. And it tells you exactly where you're supposed to hold your hold your knife. All right. Too many times I see people cutting it back here like this. No matter what knife you're using, whether it's a Santuco knife, okay, or the chef's knife, or even just a utility knife, it's the same cut. Just hold it like that, okay? Just pinch it right there. Put your hand right in, and that's the correct way of using your knives, all right? I when, Before I didn't pamper up, I was holding it wrong, just like y'all of you. And, hey, uh, Rick, you made it live. Um, I was holding it like this, just like you, but there's no support in your in your um, in, at the knife, and this is a, a danger to you um, and everybody around you when you hold it like this. This is not correct, not correct. Okay, so anyway, we got that. Let me put that down in the sink. Gently put that down, and we're gonna be using we're gonna be using the jumbo muffins. I find that if I do the small muffins or in the one cup prep bowls in the air fryer, that I still eat two muffins. So why not just do one big one and the eyes, the eyes are the gateway to our stomach. Did you get, did you hear that? Our eyes are a great gateway to the summer stomach. If it doesn't look good, we're not going to eat it. You ever go scrolling through pictures and you're like, oh man, that looks so good. I mean, they have it oozing and all. Hey, Monica, thank you for the yummy word. Um, it looks so good and there's color on it. We love color in our food. We like it to look appealing on it. So we eat with our eyes first. Thank you, Monica, for the second yummy word. We, we uh, eat with our eyes, okay? And so if you were to put something in front of you and you're like, Mm, it doesn't really look appealing. We like our food to look appealing. And when you do a small little tiny muffin, you're like, I think I'm missing out because sometimes our mind, our eyes and our mind work together. And if we see something small, it's like, that's not going to satisfy me. But when I make these in the jumbo muffin pan, I'm telling you, my eyes are like, oh yeah, we got that big giant muffin in front of us and yummy in my tummy. And it's going to fill you up. Now, when I do, I do freeze them and I bring them out. I let them thaw while I'm walking. And then I, I'll slice them in half and put them in the air fryer or put them in the microwave, depending upon how quick I want to eat it. Uh, the, the air fryer is a lot better for you. The air, the microwave actually changes the molecular structure of your food. It's good for some things in a little bit, but don't use the microwave all the time. However, you know, some people, that's all they do is microwave, which is great for eating at home. All right. All right. So we have the uh, giant muffin pan right here and I have a, a pad of butter. All right. Just a little pad of butter. And yeah, I got a little thing on there. Uh, we're just going to um, line our pan with some butter. Now, if you want, you can use uh, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever you need. You need to, you, you, you can put the, um, just line it because I'm not using paper liners on here. One, I'm saving the landfill from not using the paper liners. Two, when I use a paper liners for these, for these muffins, they stick. The paper sticks to the food. All right. Costco size. Yeah, exactly. Rick, this is definitely Costco size. Okay. They are, they are very, very large. Okay. So let me get that out. I'm trying to get it. I have a lot of butter in here. Y'all I have to take a point just for butter. Well, in each, in each well. So each well does need to be buttered or um, just put some, because uh, there's no oil in our recipe. If there's oil in your recipe, then you don't really need to do, I'm going to put this out. Uh, you don't really need, you don't need the butter then. Okay. And I got a lot in, in some of these, so I'm, I don't need a whole lot. Just, just slightly. I think it went, I think I OD'd on the butter. All right. So just make sure it's all lined in, especially the corners and all. And the middle part all right there we go because you don't want your muffins to stick and they pop right out when you do this all right so our pan and this is a pampered chef new pan it's our, our our large muffin pan i call it the jumbo mark jumbo one because that's what it is it is jumbo all right and we like this we don't like the word when we're eating something does how about a large muffin does that sound which sounds better large muffin or jumbo muffin 
Just saying, which one sounds better? I obviously think the jumper one sounds better, although they're the same thing. Hello, I'm at work. I just popped in. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? All right, so we are doing, uh, we're doing delicata squash. I already have my delicata. I showed you how to cut it, cut this, uh, scoop it out, cut it again, put some olive oil uh, or, and uh, put it in your uh, air fryer at 400 degrees for about 18 minutes. Halfway through at nine minutes, we're gonna switch our, our things around because it's gonna get nice and caramelized. We're gonna see that nice and, and uh, charred look on it. And this is like nature's candy, all right? The next we're gonna be doing, I'll flip this over and we're gonna be doing our, our blueberry lemon oatmeal jumbo muffins, right? So let's put this over. I'm gonna flip us around now and let's get the show on the road because I wanna get these in, in, the, um, ref in, in the oven. My oven's heated to 350 degrees. I did put these bananas before I went away to see Bryce. I did put them in the in the refrigerator. They are nicely chilled and cold, um, but they are nasty little bananas. And I got two more over there. So I'll probably be making more, but more muffins because I'm telling you, I've been maintaining my weight or actually lost a little bit of weight in the last month by, by eating these muffins. All right. Okay, next, this is my handoff because we have two yucky bananas there. We're going to get our eggs. I got two miscellaneous little eggs right here. Okay. All right. And I'll be watching my brother's um, animals this weekend. <laughs> Hopefully, I get some eggs from the chicken. He did bring me eggs over. I think I, I didn't know where the eggs were. I think the chickens were hiding the eggs because my brother brought me a dozen and a half eggs. Uh, about a week ago. All right, so we got two bananas, two eggs in here. We're gonna put in some unsweetened applesauce in here. You can use fresh applesauce if you if you make it on the stovetop. Just use one cup of applesauce. I do like, uh, I call it the adult applesauce rather than this one that's more like baby food. All right, so put that in. There, I got my scraper here. Get that out, put that in the garbage. And one more, all right. So if you find apples that are on sale, definitely get yourself some apples and do a combination of different apples. All you have to do is peel them, core them, and then put them in a pot with a little bit of water and just let it boil and you have your homemade applesauce. It is the simplest and easiest thing you've ever done in your life, all right? There we go. Don't let those apples go ever, ever go bad, all right? I'm gonna just chop this up just a little bit because I'm gonna get my, my blender, my mixer and put it in here. All right, so we have um, our non-fat Greek yogurt going in next. I have, this is my measure all. You can put liquids on this side and then you push it right out. This is the two cup measure all and we have one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Here, put that in. All right, so we have our yogurt, two eggs, applesauce, bananas, and that's all of our liquid stuff. So. I'm gonna put this over the side. We're gonna get our mixer out. Now my mixer is the uh, new Flex Plus. And where did I put my battery? Gotta put the battery in last. It's the last to the party, first to leave, and it is ready to go. So I love this one because it is uh, cordless. Just put this on. Now, it doesn't really matter if you um, want your bananas all the way um, mixed in, like pureed, or if you leave them a little bit chunky. We can leave these a little bit chunky. I think I'm done with, no, I think I'll be using my mixer one more time. All right. So we have this. Now we're going to add in our dry ingredients, which I have, um, this is baking powder. We need one teaspoon of baking powder. Let me get this dry one out. We got one teaspoon. There we go. All right, we're gonna be putting in one teaspoon of cinnamon. I am using the Pampered Chef Corn J Cinnamon, and I think I have just enough for just this recipe. All right, and I have, I need some more cinnamon for my topping. All right, and I put in here two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now you can skip the topping or you can actually, um, uh, use it. I like a little sweetness on mine. I have a little bit of cinnamon in here. I'm going to add that in. All right. Now I'm done with my one container. 
You can always save these containers and reuse them and put um, your packaged things in here also. So I'm going to probably rinse that out and reuse that. But I have another Corn J cinnamon. This cinnamon is only available for a limited time with Pampered Chef until it supplies run out or until December 31st. All right. What are we making today? We are making delicata squash, which is already in the air fryer. And I need to see what time it is. Uh, we got three minutes left and I... I didn't switch them around. So let me go switch my delicata squash around. Oh, yeah. All right, there's three minutes left, but the top ones, I didn't switch them. And this is the delicata squash. All right, that we got caramelized. All right, and it is nice and hot. This is the delicata squash that we were cooking. We put it in the air fryer for 18 minutes. However, this one came out at 15. All right, I'm gonna put them off to the side and let them cool off for a second while we finish up with our ingredients for our blueberry um, lemon oatmeal muffins. And I need one more teaspoon of cinnamon in my topping, which is right here. There we go. Got that. Got it. Let's put the lid back on. Can I ask why that cinnamon is only available until December? I have no idea. They just do it for a limited time. No idea. So I got to make sure I have enough for the rest of the year. Like for next year until October. It's just a limited time, I guess. I have no idea. Uh, they do it also for the Cinnamon Plus. This one here. This one's really good because it has that Corn J Cinnamon. Nutmeg, allspice, orange peel, cloves, and ginger. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on that on the other one. Let's put a little bit, like a quarter of a teaspoon of this in our topping one. Oh, this smells so good. The cinnamon plus. And again, this was the one that I, I purchased last season. And this is the one I got in the mail, um, like last week or a couple weeks ago. All right. All right, so we got our baking powder in here, cinnamon. We're gonna do a little nutmeg. And I like using whole nutmeg. I had to order this from Amazon. And we're gonna get a, um, a zester. And we're gonna zest our nutmeg. Right. And I just eyeball this. This is the only, this is probably one of the only um, spices I eyeball. And you do about an eighth of a teaspoon of it even a, up to a quarter, you can even do up to a quarter on this one. Nutmeg does have an overpowering uh, flavor if you put too much in it, but when you do the right amount, it is yummy in your tummy. It gives you an old fashioned um, uh, flavor to your food, the nutmeg, and you can add it into different dishes also. And again, this smells so good too. All right, so we got that. I am gonna be adding in our pea protein. And this is just plain pea protein. And I, and I was thinking, some, I was talking to one of my friends um, uh, earlier this week, and I said, you can probably get regular peas and just puree it into your blender and make your own pea protein. But I'm putting about a half of a cup of the pea protein in here, which is about two, um, two scoops. I probably, I'm probably getting about three, um, six, it's three per scoop, but I'm getting six grams of protein in these muffins. And that's what's making me feel full longer is the protein. Because not only do I have fiber in here, I also have protein in it. All right, so we got all of our, 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 our dry ingredients that we can mix together and we're gonna bring out our blender and mix these babies together. That powder is gonna go everywhere, so just mix it in first before you turn on your, your mixer here, okay? got is some uh, vanilla. Um, I like to add, I always forget to add vanilla on this one. And I do have our double strength Madagascar vanilla and put a little bit of vanilla in this one too while we're at it. Okay, so let's do a uh, good amount. There we go. Put that in there. And we're going to have to put some lemon zest and juice in here. If I could get my cap on, it'd be great. Okay. 
I'm the worst about spilling vanilla all over the place. All right, let's put this off to the side. We're gonna get our vanilla, our um, lemon. We got a lemon here that we need to zest and um, juice. All right, so we're gonna do the zester first, and this is a Pamper Chef zester, zester and, and juicer. And we're gonna do the whole lemon with this. Okay, this is a really good one. It does it for bigger fruits and veggies on here. The zester. Rather than using the small zester, this one gets the job done a lot quicker and we juice it at the same time. Okay. okay. And we're only taking the very first layer of the, ye the yellow off of our lemon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we got it all. All right, if you don't mind, you can actually put a thumbs up uh, if you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube. Uh, definitely give a reaction, all right, if you're, especially if you're not speaking. We have a lot of quiet people that just come in and watch from the from scenes from behind, all right? We're going to get all this zest off the bottom of this and put it right in. Okay, there we go. And we're going to get the juicer part now, and we're going to slice that lemon right in half. I'm going to get that knife out and slice it right, right in half. And we're gonna juice our lemon up, okay. And just rotate it and get it all down. Again, I love these muffins. I think they, it's my signature. Uh, it's taken me five years to get this down, but we've, we've been making these muffins for almost a year now. And I've gotten the recipe down that we can do other flavors. And this was one of the first ones where we did the blueberry uh, lemon muffins during the summer. And since I have the frozen blueberries, we're going to use these. And again, you can use regular frozen blueberries from the grocery store or the ones you picked from the summer and you froze them. Okay. But lemon and blueberries are two things that go together. And so I was getting a little tired of the, of the apple, though. <laughs> I still eat the apple every day, though. All right, got that down. And now we have our lemon and our um, zest that we're gonna add it back into our bowl here. There we go, let's get the blood out. Okay. Get our mixer out and put it back on. I'm all done. We're gonna get take off our battery because this is a battery and it doesn't have any um, uh, cords to it. And then detach our our beaters because we're done with that part. And we're gonna add in the rest of our dry ingredients. All right. Let's see. We need to add in a cup of grapes. I just cut these in half. All right. We're gonna add in one and a half cups of uh, regular oats and quick oats. And you can see the difference in them. Uh, this one is whole oats and then this one's more cut up. All right. You can use oat flour, but this one gives you a, um, it just gives it a, a different texture rather than using flour. All right. And these are gluten-free, sugar-free if you don't put the topping on it because you're using the, the grapes has a sweetness. Uh, you can put in raisins, but raisins are full of sugar and they um, mess with you a lot. So um, I'm doing the grapes instead of the, um, instead of dried fruit. All right. Nice. I like the mixer, Sister Kristen. Yeah, I love that one. This thing I'm watching. Thank you, I am. All right. Good afternoon, JFJ. The banana is going to, yeah, the banana is also a sweetener. So if you are a diabetic, uh, you have to watch the bananas. You may want to use more um, yellow bananas rather than the darker and blacker the banana, the more sugar content it is in. But there's no refined sugar in here. There's no cane sugar. There's no agave sugar. No sugar whatsoever. No coconut sugar in here. Uh, it is just from the uh, food itself, from the fruit itself. Now we have to put in our blueberries and I leave my blueberries in the freezer until the last moment because you really want the blueberries to be frozen when you bake them. Otherwise, if they're at room temperature, they tend to explode uh, when you're cooking them. All right. 
And you can see, uh, you usually let this batter sit for a few minutes so that the oats can absorb the liquid and it, it doesn't make it has, as um, liquidy. All right, so let me uh, review. We have our oats in here, quick oats, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, the pea protein. We put in our lemon zest and juice, our grapes, our bananas, uh, applesauce, eggs, grit, non fat Greek yogurt. We got it going here. And then while that's sitting there and absorbing it and we're waiting for our our blueberries to come out, we're going to mix up our sugar. And I have two tablespoons of brown sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of uh, cinnamon or yeah, cinnamon plus, which is like a Pampered Chef specialty. All right. We did use that pea protein in there. It is a Pampered Chef uh, subscription that you can buy and it comes in two different sizes. This is the bigger one, I believe. It's 1.5.5 um, uh, ounces of it. And uh, you can substitute, I did, I've, I have used this recipe using the Weight Watcher um, uh, protein powder. However, I found that the Weight Watcher protein powder has an aftertaste to it. I don't like artificial um, sweeteners. I can taste it a mile away <laughs> and then I taste it for several hours later. All right. So we're just mixing up our sugar so that we can put it right on top when it's ready. Okay. And I'm going to get my blueberries out, put this over to the side, clean up my little countertop because we got to put our, our uh, batter in our bowl. Let's get the blueberries. Put that down. And oh, I'm gonna taste one of these. Okay, I'm gonna put some salt on here and taste my delicata squash. I just looking at it here, and I'm like, oh my god, my mouth is is drooling. All right, so just a little bit of salt. You can even put salt in here if you want, but you just get this, and you see how it's caramelized. I saw it. That's like candy. Mmm, that is so good. Right. So I have my bl blueberries done up. I'm going to add most of these into our batter. But I'm going to keep a couple behind because I want to decorate the outside of my blueberries okay, or my muffins. Keep about mm, 12, at least 12 or so behind. All right. 12, 18 behind. All right. And we're going to mix our blueberries in. Okay. Now it's looking really pretty, isn't it? It's a pretty batter. All right, and if you want, you can add apples, but we're doing this one. This one's uh, blueberry lemon um, muffins today. Okay. Oh, beautiful. All right, so the next we're going to get our jumbo pan out. Yep. I'm going to eat a little bit more of my delicata squash. Mmm. Does it give me a headache? I just can't stand the aftertaste of them. I'm sure you can get used to it. I don't want to. I'd rather take full on strength sugar than um, an artificial sugar. Oh. So I'm just throwing in one big scoop. We're going to throw in the second one, then we're going to pat it down. Okay. Two. Yeah. 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 All right, so now we got two scoops in here. You're gonna pat it down. So this is your base of your muffin. These muffins do not rise. So you want to, um, to make them look like muffins. So you're gonna build it up. All right, so tap it down. So it gets in all the nook and crannies in our, in our bowl. And I'm gonna add in another one. Just put it right on top. There. Two. Three. I think I had more uh, fruit when I do the apples in here and the walnuts and stuff like that. It makes them a little bit bigger. All right. So we're going to add in a little more topping and we're just building this up. So it looks like a muffin when it comes out. Oops. This one needs a bigger one. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right. And this one needs a lot more. All right. Got some more left. I've got a little bit left, y'all. Okay. So again, if you add, you can add walnuts in here, pecans, but it will add points. But the um, pecans and walnut, the nuts are protein. So it is a good thing uh, when you do the, uh, we've done apple walnut. We've done sweet potato pecan with pineapples in it. Uh, we've done uh, 
pumpkin spice. That was my least favorite one was the pumpkin spice one. I don't know why if I put too much spices in there or I put too much pumpkin and I got to remake those. So it tastes a little bit better that I want that one. Like when you think of these, you want to think, oh, I, I want to go make some, you know? All right, let's put a little bit more on top here. A little bit more there. One more on top there. Okay. And I'm almost down to the bottom of the bowl here. Okay. A little bit. Scrape the bowl one more time. Because you know when you scrape it, you, instead of going down the drain, it goes into your muffin. Okay. Uh. Here. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, or um, the, um, what is that thing called? Price is Right is almost over. So there is our bowl. It's all scraped out. All right. Next, we're going to put in our sweetener right on top. And again, you can leave it just the way it is. It, it would be fine. All right. But I like a little sweetness on it. There, and just put your sweetness over it. Yeah. 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 All right. And then we're going to come back and we're going to stuff a little bit more blueberries right on top so that we can see the blueberries popping out um, and we know exactly what's what these muffins are. Okay. Yeah, let's put some of that down there. Yeah. And again, you can skip the sugar if you don't want it. Um, I really want you to try these recipes. Um, they are perfect. Uh, if you need the pea protein, I was thinking maybe you can get pea, uh, pa uh, pea peas, uh, green peas or yellow peas, and you can actually um, per, um, pound them up. It may do the same thing because that's the only thing that's in this whole thing. It says pea protein ingredient, peas protein, just peas, just peas are in here. It doesn't taste like anything either. All right, so I'm going to put some of these blueberries in here. So I'm just going to strategically place them so that we can see them. All right. Like, like that. All right. And if you're on a diet, you definitely need to have foods that fill you up and not have uh, wasted calories. Or if you're coming home and you're like, man, I'm starving. I'm going to eat everything out of the house. That's why I was last night and I ate eight cookies. Okay. Yeah. I ate eight cookies. And I'm like, nope, I need to make those muffins. So when I come back home after working, I have a, um, a good, good snack to eat. And this would be it. All right. And this will fill me up. And there's only like maybe two to two points on this one. I think, let me see if there's any points on this for me. Uh, the sugar is like a one point, one point, and we don't have any nuts in here. So it's only like a one point on purple plan with, with Weight Watchers. All right. That's looking really pretty. Look at that. See that? So now we're going to put these in the, um, oven at 350 degrees for at least 30 minutes. Sometimes it might be even be 30, um, 30 up to 35 minutes. Okay depending upon how wet your batter is. All right. But you see how pretty they are? Like these are beautiful. All right. There you go. Looks delicious there, Alexis. Yeah. These are a very healthy, um, um, alternative to having like your blueberry muffins. Now they aren't cake like muffins. They are oatmeal. So they are very dense and this does weigh a lot. So I'm going to put this in the, um, in the oven. 350. There you go. There. And I can flip you around and say hello. Let me see. There you go. Uh, let's see. I have some. Get some. All right. Protein. Yeah. Protein powder. You can use the vanilla protein powder in it. I wouldn't put vanilla and vanilla protein powder in there, but the pea protein doesn't have any flavor to it. So it has a slight mild taste, but nothing like the vanilla. I didn't like that at all. Hey. Retta, how you doing? Retta, we made this, um, when I was down where Retta lives, I'll be there in November. Um, I called around and nobody knew what this was, the delicata squash. And so when I traveled home last week, I went, um, to my local little tomato house, uh, farmer stand 
and they had this in abundance and I bought four of them. So I, I ate one last week and I thought I need to make this up because these things are great. You even eat the skin on it. You leave the skin on it and eat it. You're in Sarasota. What you doing down there? <laughs> And again, this I can eat this whole entire thing like this. I need to make a cup of coffee. Mm. 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 I'm in heaven. Uh, you can, but that would make it point and flour. It would, wouldn't be gluten free. These are definitely gluten free, you pay, baby. Not that I'm gluten free. And I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes or anything like that. Oh, look at this one. This one's nice and dark. You can. You can add butter into it, okay, and make your official strudel topping, which is flour, butter, um, brown sugar, and cinnamon in it. I'm going to do that. But I'm not taking, I'm not taking the points. <laughs> During the day. Ever been? Ever been? Mm, no, I haven't. I have been to Sarasota. Uh, let me, I'm going to scroll back because I missed a lot of comments from earlier. Oh my gosh. All right. I, see, I saw Monica. Thank you for the award. Mm -hmm. We don't know why. We don't know why our cinnamon is only available for the, it's for the baking thing. Because you know, if the longer you keep your spices sitting out, the less potent it gets. And, and spices do last a long time. Let me see. Um, that empty one we had. Over my there you go. All right. So, yeah, so this one has an ex expiration date of December 2021, which is this year. And I bought this last year. All right. The new one, that was this corn chase cinnamon. This new one, the expiration date, uh, this one's August 2023. Okay. So this one's a little bit longer. It's probably uh, fresher. Let's look at the cinnamon plus. This is the old one. This is June of 2022. And the new one I just got is October 2022. Not much difference on this one. So we have a year for this one. It has six, what, four months or so. So that's like a pumpkin spice spice minus the clove. No, there's cloves actually in that pumpkin spice. Um, let me see the pumpkin. Uh, let's see. We have ground turmeric. No. Uh, oh, here it is. Here's pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, little tiny one versus a big one, you know. Uh, let's see. So this one has cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and sulfating agents. Sulfating agents. That's where, that's like, you don't want that. Uh, this one has a corn tray cinnamon, which is a specialty cinnamon. Nutmeg. We have that. Allspice. Uh, orange peel. It has orange peel. Does have ginger and cloves. So yeah, so it's adding cloves and orange peels in this one. And there's no sulfating agents in this one. And it's gluten-free. No salt, sugar, or preservatives added. No salt, sugars, or preservatives added in this one. Store at a cool, dry place. Uh, filtered by weight, not by volume. Settling may occur during shipping. There you go. All right, let's see. Watching on half says, uh, says Rick, hey. Uh, let's see. What point do you put the blueberries right at the very end because you don't want them to melt or to come to room temperature because then they get a little soft and when they cook, they go, they explode. All right. So keep them frozen as long as you can and then gently mix them in. Could you add a tablespoon? Yep, we could. Diet sugars give me a headache. Yep. <laughs> Anne says you're making me hungry. <laughs> and you get, you do great food over there. I'm like, man, see, you're very creative. I bet you could add frozen strawberry pieces to the muffin too. Yeah, you can add anything. You can add whatever fruit you want in there. If you want to do peach ones, do peach. Oh, JFJ, have you had delicata squash? Mm-hmm. You can use any protein that you have. But if you use chocolate protein, it's going to taste like chocolate. Mm-hmm. Let me say, all right, uh, skip that. Uh, yes, maybe I'll try on the German Amazon. I have to get get some of that. The um, the Pampers Chef Pea Protein, I'm telling you, you're going to use this. The, you can put this in like your tomato sauce. You can put it in your uh, ground beef. All right. 
if you're looking for more, more protein because protein fills you up. All right. Protein fills you up. The only one, the only ones that shouldn't have a whole lot of protein is somebody who has gout. Mm. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Mm. Emmy, I made this delicata squash. You have this over in Sweden? This is the best squash, um, Amy. And I, I already have almost half of it. All right. Yeah, I'm sitting here eating the delicata squash. I showed you how to cut it, clean it out, put some olive oil on it, roast it. If you don't have an air fryer, roast it in your um, in your oven at like 450 degrees for probably 15, 20 minutes, depending upon how hot your oven is. Oh, mm. mm -mm. no dehydration. This is like soft and mushy. Like you see, it's like, it's mushy. It's very soft and we're eating. We don't have to peel it. You eat the whole thing. There you go. Or kidney disease causes high, high protein. There you go. I'm not, I'm not a health. I'm not a, um, I, I, I have nothing to do with exercise, uh, diets or anything like that. I just know personally, um, that when I eat healthy, I don't graze. <sighs> What does it taste like? Mm. Softer than a sweet potato. It does have a little bit of a rind to it. it the rind tastes like you're eating apples, like the apple when an apple gets cooked and it has the skin on it. It tastes like that, but it's a lot more delicate than a sweet potato. Okay, I thought you. No, I didn't dehydrate. We just we just um we just roasted it. If you like sweet potatoes, you'll love this. And you can stuff them. You can just slice them in half and whatever you stuff something else with, stuff it and bake it. And I'm eating this whole thing. So don't think like a family of four will, will eat off of this. Okay. A family of one. It, no, not like a butternut squash. Butternut squash is really, you have to peel it and it's really, really hard. And then, um, I wonder if we can. You ever know what chestnuts taste like? Chestnuts. Yes, I did. I did. So, I did. I did some salt on it. I did salt on it. Like, look, see, I'm mean, eating the whole skin and all. I gotta go get the the rest of it. We got the rest of it. Just a little bit of salt. Oh, and this is hot too. And I got a coffee here. Oh my God. So pretty much like one point because I just sprayed this with olive oil and I'm eating the whole thing. So I probably put a teaspoon of olive oil on here, but the olive oil is good, healthy oil for you. It makes your system uh, fluid. Nothing gets stuck. I love butternut squash soup, Emmy. I'm not sure if I want this as a soup though. I like it just the way it is. Like I wouldn't change a thing. On uh, HelloFresh, if you have a HelloFresh uh, account, they do sell this as an, a meal with um, uh, little pearls. They have this as, a, as an entree using the pearl thing that, you know. Oh, All right. You can suss them with couscous, the little pearls. This was from last year. The couscous. I need to make something with couscous. Anybody have anything good for couscous? Yeah, they usually have it at Aldi's. Someone told me they usually have it at Aldi's, but my Aldi's is 30 minutes away. I'm not going down there. Mm. Wow, making me hungry. <laughs> it's really good. It's totally healthy for you. I like orgasmic. Yeah, I use that word. Mm. Eat it now. There you go. I need something really simple and healthy to make this. Send me a recipe. Something like really I only have like uh one I only have a third of a cup or one point five ounces or seventy grams of couscous to use, which is 
enough for two people. Although with my mom and I, it's probably four. Oh, you make a couscous, mackerel filet, and tomato sauce. Oh, did you all see? I'm not sure where I, I made the um, the pizza sauce. Oh my God, y'all. It is the best pizza sauce that we made in the Flex Plus um, food processor. And we just used canned tomatoes, tomato paste, uh, olive oil, and Italian seasonings, I think. I tell you what, I, I, all I do is get bread. I toast it and put that on there. It is the best thing ever. And all I have to do is take a point for the two points for the bread. Lemon couscous with baked chicken. Oh man, this is so good. Mm, that's like this is adult candy. It's not like super sweet that you're like overly sweet at all. It's probably less sweet than a sweet potato. And yeah, we need to put some cinnamon on it. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon on this one. I, I I didn't take the thing off. Citrus. Okay, that we got that. I love the smell of stuff. You know, mm. what spices would you smell? Lemon, basil, shrimp, couscous, yummy. Oh. Yeah, I gotta watch. We're supposed we're supposed to go grocery shopping today. I got called into work yesterday, so I had to go to work from five until nine. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. There's a little more salt. Okay. Oh. Mm. Yeah. The cinnamon on here brings it to another level. All right. Oh, we forgot to put the timer on, y'all. Alexa, set the timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. Mmm. Thank you, Diane. We made the avocado squash. I ate the whole thing. This is all that's left. I ate it. Okay. I think the other one was maybe a tad bit smaller. And I got another one over here. I got two. I can smell cinnamon all day long, too. This one here, the cinnamon plus smells super good, too. Like... You definitely smell like the orange peels, the cloves. Oh my god! Yeah, just just go around smelling some. Oh, this one's really good. I had um, one of the little packets from Taste Buds, and so um, I reused my container. And this is the rosemary herb. Oh my god! This smells so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. A baked herb rubbed salmon on top of lemon couscous would be so delicious. I think the salmon sounds really good. <clears throat> I gotta figure out what we have in the refrigerator and what we're gonna make for dinner tonight. What are you having for dinner tonight? I don't have salmon. I don't have shrimp. Mm. I gotta figure out what we're gonna make for dinner. Yesterday I had two buns in the free freezer and I made my mom a hamburger and I made myself a chicken burger and um I left hers in the refrigerator. I had all packed up like it's lunch to go for her when I go to work. Uh, let's see. I love to make a pot of water. Oh, the cinnamon cloves, orange rinds, and keep it going low heat all day on the stove. Makes my house smell so good. That or even put it in your slow cooker. Put it in your slow cooker and let it go all day. That way you don't have to like, you don't have any elements on, on your, on your, I, for some reason I just don't like leaving things on my stove and walking away. Just personally. <laughs> yeah, white chicken chili. Oh, man, that is so good. I love the white chicken. My mom doesn't like it, though. And that's been on my mind, uh, Missy Mouse. White chicken chili. <clears throat> yeah. I would eat that and then store it away. But I got to make something for my mom. I don't know. It's so easy. I, used to, I do that in the quick cooker. That's the beauty of having the right tools in your kitchen is like, what vessel am I going to use? You're having rotisserie chicken strips on top of spring salad with almond slivers and citrus vinaigrette. There you go. You're making your own vinaigrette. Making your own vinaigrette is super easy. 
Did you know that most points on a, or most calories on a salad is a salad dressing? Oh, you're going, yeah, I'll be back. I got Brian down there, so I'll come back once a month. Once a month. <laughs> Go see Brian. Where should be more? But I got things up here, like my brother's uh, going away this sun, this Saturday through next Saturday. Bryce is supposed to be coming in next Friday and Saturday, I think. I'm not sure yet. Um, so that leaves that one out. This weekend, I have uh, not only my brother's thing, but I have a, uh, a, a vendor fair with, for Pamper Chef. Make it in your Friday mix. Okay. That's a lot. Just for two people, I would just mix it right up on here in a one cup prep bowl. I don't make it enough to last forever. Last night? Last night what? Oh, last night? Yeah. I had to work last night. So, all right. I called in. The girl got sick. She said, can you come in? I didn't see the message until like an hour after she sent it. I said, yeah, if you need me. She goes, yes, please. Mm. I'm not saying. I have to work. It's not going to be a, a, a permanent job. Just seeing where it leads me. Um, I I do need to go back because um, it's everything screwing up in my life. <laughs> mm. No, no. Although I was on the floor by myself last night, so I was like, okay. I only screwed up one one table. Screw a government job. <laughs> I wish. No. No, I have to, um, it's not going to pay the bills either. So I got, I don't realize that. Um, but it's getting me out of the house and an idea of going back. Um, I know that, um, I did see yesterday and I got an email, uh, about all the ships being relocated to Florida and going into transportation business. Sounds really good. But anyway, I'll, I'll apply for that one too. Not driving the truck, organizing it. Yeah. Mm hmm. And I told him yesterday, I said, um, I, oh, so I'm not, I don't know this guy's name. He's one of the cooks, right? And we got a long joke. So anyway, he was there. He was trying to have me dance. I said, no, I want to do this TikTok thing. Where it's that uh, country western song. I think it's Dukes and uh, Brunson. I don't know. Right. Sun goes down on my side of town. The lonesome feeling. Da, da, da. And then you go like this. You know that one on TikTok? I gotta get the words down. I'm the worst at music. What will the job be? I have no idea yet. I need to get a permanent one. <laughs> but I'm done. <laughs> I, I had it right. It didn't come out of my brain that way. <laughs> That's so funny. Y'all know which one I'm talking about on TikTok, right? So I told this guy, I showed him how to do the moves. I said, we just got to get the words down. And we can be on TikTok. We could be a TikTok sensation. <laughs> I said, I can do it. I got the, I got the words down. <laughs> he told me I look like a cheerleader. <laughs> so... I said, you can be an internet sensation. I already got like thousands of people that come and watch me, you know, at least a hundred, a couple hundred. Okay. And uh, he goes, what do you mean? And I said, well, I go live and I teach people how to cook. <laughs> and they're looking at me like, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not going to the school system, Kai. That's not, that's not my cup of tea. Those kids would be killed. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is fun. This is, look, I'm only down to two pieces left of that whole entire, um, Intel cottage squash. So I'm up at Bryce's fraternity and there's three dogs that live in the house, three dogs that live in the house. And if you go on to D E K underscore U G A, you'll see our pictures. It's on Instagram. Go over to D E K that's dog kite Elizabeth underscore U G A. University of Georgia. Okay. No, heck no. The slop that those people give those kids. No wonder why they can't think 
That is the worst gosh darn food I've ever seen in my entire life is at, in, a, in a kid's cafeteria. Remember we went to Bryce's um, Honor Society and they gave the parents lunch or breakfast there? It was god awful. The eggs were green. The things were greasy. It was like, uh, what is the thing? Co uh, fruit cocktail that didn't look that great. Slopped in the thing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. The government is paying for those. That They should be shot. They should be court-martialed by what they feed our kids in the school system these days. <laughs> I know. So anyway. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> They'll be looking at you like, teach cooking, and you're not cooking here. <laughs> that's, what that, that's what I think that they were thinking of. I'm not going to. I like cooking for myself and showing you how to cook just small stuff at home. I'm not doing this for the mass quantities. Are you kidding me? No. So, oh, go back to that story. Y'all are, y'all are like mesmerized, right? It's three dogs. Go to, go to D E K underscore U G A and you'll see the three dogs. Just scroll down and you'll see the three dogs. One is a German shepherd. That is mm, a little scary. Mm -hmm. These, these kids don't know how to be a parent to dogs. All right. Then there's the house person. And his dog had to be, couldn't even come out because it was, it's a vicious dog. And you just have to go, and the dog is, blah, 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 you know, at the door. And that's a, a smaller dog. And then they have this cute, beautiful little husky, okay? It's a, it's a brown husky, brown husky. And uh, the, 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 one of the kids that lives in that room, there's three kids that live in that one room, I think. And um, he goes, that dog barks when the owner goes and does not stop until he comes back. He whines, he cries. I said, well, you can do two different things. One, throw a towel over the whole cage because he has it in a crate. It's crated, okay? Throw a towel over it. It's in his own home. If he sees all that, he, he's wondering where he is. Just put it over it. It might be quiet. That's one option. We did recommend the shock collar, but the shock collar is a no-no. So anyway, we can't do that. So put the towel, put, put, put drape it over the thing. It's just like putting a bird to bed, right? So anyway, we got to do something. Hold on a second. We, we got, we got, we got the peanut crew here. So, uh, let me see if I can swipe up on this one. All right. <laughs> so the second thing was, was to get a little spray container and put water in there and either put like one cup of water to maybe like a t t teaspoon of vinegar or a teaspoon of lemon juice in there. And when the dog does it, you spray it and you spray it right in its mouth and you say, stop. It's inappropriate. Okay. So Tom, stop. It's inappropriate. If I have to talk to you like a three-year-old, it's inappropriate. Okay. So anyway, so Alexis, get, uh, he is, I know, I see that. Where, what platform is he on? All right. What platform is he on? Is it blue or red? All right. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I'm waiting for your answer. <laughs> so anyway, you have to be consistent. When you're training a kid or you're training a dog, it's the same thing. And I told him, I said, I, to, I, I told Bryce, sit. And he sat. Okay. I told Bryce, you're bad. You're inappropriate. I told Bryce knew the word inappropriate when he was three years old. And when he was inappropriate, we would get his nose and we touch the, touch the, the corner of, of the, of the room. I put him in a corner so he can't see anything. It's in the corner. Okay. In the corner. And you had to touch your nose to the wall. And you touch it. If it was three, three minutes. Five, five years old, five minutes. Let's say he wasn't in that corner very often. All right. Blue and red. Wow. All right. Let's see where we are here. Uh, Alexis. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't figure that one out. Oops. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Of course, I can't find my own my own stuff. Let's go and see the next one. I know where to find the one is. Oh, here it is. We're live now. Blue and red. Well, we're going to see that one. Here we go. 
Uh, oh, it's, uh, you know, that's the copycat on YouTube. All right. Cause it's using somebody else's name. All right. Uh, there and that, and we want to report and that and choose one and that and report. There we go on that one. Oh my gosh, y'all. All right. So that one is done. And now we need to go to the next one. And where do I find this? Ay, ay, ay. I tell you what. Keep going, Diane. You're just jealous. All right. Ay, ay, ay. Where am I going on this one? Pages. There we go. And of course it doesn't show you where, where you want to go on here. Inbox, planner, boost a video. Oh, here we go. Ah, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. There we go. And ban from stream. And on ban, ban, ban from page. There we go. D Diane is gone, Baba. -ba. <laughs> All right, now I need to hide comment. Okay. All right. Uh, I see myself waving. All right. All right. Got it. Let's see how many accounts they come back in with. There we go. Live chat. Oh my goodness gracious. Like how many of these people like really? Wow. All right. Wow. This is like forever here, y'all. Sorry, y'all had to put it up, right? But we got them. We got them. We got them. We banned them. They're banned. Tom Roberts, adios. <laughs> it's the same person. <laughs> Boy, they really like to, oh my God. Like how many comments were they doing? Good God. Isn't that, isn't that awful? <clears throat> All right. Let's see how much time we have on our, on our muffins left. Alexa, how much time do we have on the timer? You have nine minutes and 20 seconds left on your 25 minute timer. Nine minutes. Okay. Got it. All right, so let me know if anybody else comes in and does that, all right? All right, I got a couple more left here. This is the end part. You can't eat that little, the nut part, the end part. But I ate the entire, entire delicata squash. Okay. So there's a new product out by Pampered Chef. That just came out October 1st. It is the 20th. I was thinking about making it and then I'm thinking, um, I'm like, well, what liquid shall I put in it? So it's the apple spice beer bread. All right. And you can put, you can use beer, non-alcoholic beer or carbonated drink. And I saw a lot of people putting sparkling, why, um, um, sparkling water in here, sparkling apple cider in here. And my mom had sparkling grape juice. And I thought, well, that'd be great too. Okay. When I went for the points on the sparkling grape juice, it was like 12 points for 12 ounces. Okay. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Root beer would be great too, but there's too many points in the root beer. So we're going with a light Michelob Ultra that only has three points to it. I am not taking an additional nine, 12 points to make this baby. So the low, the low point beer is the way to go. Now the beer will cook out of it. So you don't get the, the alcohol effect into it, but all you have to do is add in this package and 12 ounces of, of, um, the, the liquid. And then you can do, um, a quarter cup of diced apples can go in here also. So yeah, and the root beer will be great. Um, uh, uh, cherry soda, uh, you name it, any type of soda, orange soda will be great. You can put any type of carbonated soda in here. You need the carbonation. You can't just use like 
apple juice, you need the carbonation in order for it to fizz up on you. All right. So, yeah, that's coming along very soon. Very, very soon. Because, I and look, we ate them all. I ate all of that. Ate all of the delicata squash there. Dr. Pepper. Yep. I'm a pepper. You're a pepper. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to be a Dr. Pepper? <laughs> right. That was a song from way back when. 1980-something. There you go. Um, uh, you've been meeting him and he won't stop. This is JFJ. Yeah. All right. So we got him. We got Tom. And we got Diane. Just nuisances. We, we banned them. But I have to do it while it's live. It, you can't, can't go back and do it. Oh, my God. That is so good. All right. What else do we have? Anybody else being banned that I don't know about? Let me see my, um, my, my muffins down here. Oh, they're looking good. Looking good. Looking good. I'm going to get my cake tester and releaser out. I have my um, pink. This is a, uh, a pink plastic, not not plastic like the straws you think about it. It's plastic, like um, nylon plastic that I can actually see. I put it over the, the, the lid that comes with it. So I shut that back up and I keep it safe so that I can see it really easy when I open up that drawer there. Okay, just FYI. I did bend it so it was a little crooked, but it still works in great condition. Oh, I think they're going to be done. I think they're done. I think they're done, y'all. All right. Oops. All right, let's put this one back. We have the organic nutmeg there. Back and go back. Pea protein, again, this is super good for you. You can add it into your soups, sauces, uh, ground beef. Uh, when you have kids that don't want to eat, you can put in their macaroni and cheese and get them um, some protein in it. It just, when you eat the right protein and fiber, fiber is more, more veggies and protein is more of your meats and uh, beans. Uh, if you do rice and beans, it's pure protein versus a half protein. Uh, you feel fuller longer. So if you're going for empty calories and eating the potato chips and the um, pretzels and the cookies and you're like not getting satisfied or you have a big old sandwich or a donut, those don't have fiber or protein in it. Definitely you need this in your life, all right? I wonder just how the beer bread would taste if you added the mashed bananas and applesauce like you do in a muffin mix. Hmm. I don't have any more applesauce, so that's that leaves that out. That has to go on the grocery list. But I think the applesauce would be really good. It doesn't have anything else in it. Try using ginger beer or specialty pumpkin spice beer is what they recommend on it. We can also add in the pea protein, but the pea protein might take to, uh, change the density density of your of your bread because when you use the pea protein, it does absorb some of the moisture on it. If you are, um, if you're doing the the muffin mix without the protein, your batter is going to be wet, and it'll take longer for it to cook. You can add in a little bit more oatmeal in to order uh, to absorb some of that liquid uh, that's in the mix. Okay. And I did. Uh, you know what I need to do? Because tomorrow is Thursday. I need to take this. To Weight Watchers and say who wants this because it has um, uh, it has car uh, carbohydrates six grams dietary let me, let me, where's the sugar total sugar is two grams but it has one added sugar and so in this one it has whey protein concentrate milk protein and we don't well yeah we have dairy in there we have the um, the fat free Greek yogurt in there uh, soy protein insulin I mean this has so much stuff and I can't even read it indolin Indolin lichen, stevia. It has stevia leaf extract in this one. That's what I, I taste as a stevia. And it has carrageenan, soy lictin, salt, and phosphate chloride. Like, holy Moses. I can't even read all that stuff. The that ingredients. I used to love this stuff. I used to make myself a shake in the afternoon. And I would get the vanilla one and then use like uh, different uh, extracts and make strawberry um, milkshakes or um, orange ones. Uh, but now I don't do, I don't, I don't, I didn't like this. And it's two points for this, two points per scoop. And their scoop is pretty big. Yeah, two points for a scoop. Like two points for the scoop. 
left. So you would go through this pretty darn quick. How many servings in here? There's 12 servings in this thing. It smells good. It smells just like vanilla, but I just didn't like the aftertaste. Oh, look, I even put, I pre even put my own little scoop in here. That's the temperature scoop. Get that out. So I'm going to take this to the Weight Watchers. And I got to sign up for the meeting when I get done with this. Because we have to sign up when you go in live. You have to sign, you have to pre-register that you're going to be live in the in the group here. Uh, let's see. So anybody else uh, have any questions for me or um, comments? You're waiting for our muffins to be done. I'm almost done with it. If you want the recipe, please join my VIP group. It's in there. Um, probably make a post and say, hey, have a muffin too. I used to follow a guy on YouTube. He said, if you can't pronounce the ingredient on a package, don't eat it. That product must be product because it's usually not good for you. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right on that one. All right, I got one. Microwave grips. I'm oh, Mr. Right. I'm Miss Left. Oh no, I'm Miss Right. You're you're Mr. Left. I know you're Miss Right because you're always right. Yeah, and together we're the microwave grip team. Yes, we are, and we protect Alexis's hands from getting burnt. There you go. If you don't have those, you need them. Yeah, need them, you need them, because they're microwave grips, but I use them in the oven. Has you, no, uh, Kai, uh, give it another day, because you placed the order on Monday. You should get an email or a text if you signed up for that. When you order with Pampered Chef, you have the ability to track your shipping by texting or on an email. And I think they send out an email saying your product has shipped, because when I get my um, my pea protein, they send me a message saying your, your package is on the way. <laughs> And it usually takes uh, up to five business days for your order to ship out. It's anywhere from three to five days. Hmm, okay, there you go. Did you, did you sign up? I'm sure you did because you're, you're pretty tech savvy. All right, let's see how this baby's going here. Uh, don't let my head get in there. Uh, she's done. Alexa, stop the timer. Look at that. Do you hear them? Oh, yes. And the, um, the blueberries did not explode, but when you eat these blue, when you eat the blueberry ones, make sure you have something on you because they could explode on your shirt. You don't want that to go all over the place, but they are beautiful. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. I can't wait to eat one of these later on. Now that I ate that delicata squash, and I had a cup of coffee. I don't, I'm not that hungry for these right now, but I know later on I will be hungry for them. Okay. And then I need to make dinner tonight. All right. So we've been here almost an hour and a half, but we did a uh, delicata squash and we did our blueberry uh, lemon jumbo muffins. What's she, what is she going to be for Halloween? Okay. Hey Demi, how are you doing? Uh, hey Alexa, what are you going to be for Halloween? I chose an animal for my costume this Halloween. Here's a clue. 18th century scientists did insist that this animal was too weird to exist. They said it was fake with several kinds of different animals all combined. I'll reveal which animal I chose on Thursday, October 28th. Oh, good grief. For more costume clues, just say, <laughs> what's your Halloween costume? Oh my gosh, some animal. Hmm. What's the animal that looks like everything? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, so we got the, the blueberry. Um, this is blueberry lemon muffins. I, I love the apple one, but we gave the apple one a break. I need some uh, walnuts for the apple one. So I had the blueberries in the freezer. And so we did look, it looks like a face looking at us. Look, it looks like, like a hedgehog. <laughs> oh my God, it looks like a There, there's another one that looks like, that one looks like a, a groundhog. <laughs> I don't see any more. That's a that's a a lot of eyes on that one. Oh, look at that one, gremlin. <laughs> anyway, they're looking at us. All right, so thanks for coming, everybody. If you feel so uh, and need any of the Pamper Chef products I have, and you're uh, here in the United States, please reach out to me. I'd love to get them into your house. We can either help you um, spend your money by buying them full price, or save your money by getting hosting a party and getting them at a discount. However, we can actually help you earn money by becoming a Pamper Chef consultant, and for as low as forty-one dollars in the month of October, Pamper Chef has one um, new consultant kit 
that's the pizza kit and it's 41 dollars. you can start your own business and get it going okay so thanks for coming in and spending a little bit of your time and i'll see you all next time bye a platypus i don't know what the platypus hmm. interesting